In this video, I am going to explain about the continuous uniform distribution. Okay, so far whatever we discussed, the distributions are discrete probability distributions. In that one, we learn the what is binomial distribution, what is Poisson distribution, what is the geometric distribution. Okay, so now coming to the continuous probability dis distribution, this is the first distribution that is called continuous uniform distribution. So in statistics, this is the simplest probability distribution, continuous probability distribution. Okay, so now I am going to define the what is continuous uniform distribution, how it is defined, what is the density function, what are the different names for this distribution that I am going to explain now. Okay, so the one of the simplest probability distribution in statistics is a continuous uniform distribution. Okay, and the density function for this distribution is given as follows. Okay, so the density function is I am writing the density function of the continuous uniform uniform random variable x is given by f of x such that a comma b is equals to 1 by b minus a if uh, when when a is less than x is less than b and 0 elsewhere okay so this is the uh, the density function for the uh, continuous uniform distribution okay so this is a very simple function and the figure for this one you will get uh, like this if you draw the figure diagram for this one what has happened please observe here so this is the x-axis this is f of x so the range of x is from a to b okay so in the interval a to b the function is uh, defined like this for example this is the height b 1 by b minus a then you will get a uniform line like this okay this height is 1 by b minus a okay right is it clear so how it is looking like it is looking like it's a rectangle therefore this continuous uniform distribution is also called the rectangular probability distribution okay rectangular distribution is it clear why because uh, the function the density function is forming a rectangle okay no? so this is about the continuous uniform distribution now uh, we are going to learn the what is the mean what is the variance in the continuous uniform distribution okay right so already you know what is the meaning of mean and variance in discrete also okay so what are the definitions what is the mean definition what is the variance how how we can uh, write the mean with respect to the expectation variance with respect to the expectation we have the formulas okay so now i am going to find the constants in uniform distribution okay so what are the constants in this one mu and sigma square that is we are going to find okay now mean I am finding first, the mean, mu is, is equals to E of x. So what has happened the mean in continuous uniform distribution that I am explaining now. So I can write the expectation of x by the def in the continuous we are integral minus infinity infinity x into f of x dx where f of x is defined as where f of 
x such that a comma b is defined as 1 by b minus a where a is less than x is less than or equals to b okay and 0 elsewhere okay right now I am finding the mu mu is equals to e of x is equals to where the function is defined the function is defined only in this interval that's why I am not taking minus infinity infinity I am directly taking a to b x into what is f of x it is a constant 1 by b minus a into dx so 1 by b minus a what is integration of x x square by 2 ok so limits are from a to b so what is happened 1 by b minus a into 1 by 2 times of upper limit b square minus lower limit a square so it is a simple formula b square minus a square can be written as b minus a into b plus a divided by 2 times of b minus a so b minus a b minus a cancel you will get b plus a divided by 2 so the main in the continuous uniform distribution is given by b plus a divided by 2 or a plus b divided by 2 ok simply we got the b plus a divided by 2 is the mean in the continuous uniform distribution if the limits are a and b is it clear now similarly we are going to uh, find the variance ok sigma square right Now I am going to explain about the variance. The definition of the variance already we know the formula. Variance. What is the variance? V of x can be written as expectation of x minus mu whole square. Okay. Right. So this is can be written as e of x square minus mu square. This is the formula we know. Okay. Now we know the mu value. Just now we calculated that is a plus b divided by a plus b whole uh, a plus b divided by two. Now I am going to find the e of x square. What is e of x square formula? Same integral minus infinity to infinity x square into f of x dx here the function f of x is defined as where f of x is defined as what is it is defined 1 by b minus a where a is less than equals to x is less than equals to b and 0 elsewhere ok so now I am going to write e of x square e of x square is equals to integral a to b x square into what is f of x 1 by b minus a into dx so that is equals to 1 by b minus a is a constant i can write outside of the integration now integration of x square is x cube by 3 limits are from a to b okay so now what is happened that is equals to 1 by b minus a into 1 by 3 into so what you will get b cube minus a cube so we know that a cube minus b cube minus a cube formula that is equals to 1 by b minus a into 1 by 3 times of b minus a into b square plus ab plus a square ok is it clear we use the b cube minus a cube now here b minus a b minus a you cancel what is the result you are getting b square plus a b plus a square divided by 3 so we got the e of x square is equal to this one ok so after completion of e of x square we have to find the v x that is the variance now I am going to find the variance right 
how we'll find the variance now the variance v of x is equals to e of x square what is e of x square just now we got b square plus a b plus a square divided by 3 what is the mean value we got mean value is equals to um, a plus b whole square divided by uh, a plus b divided by 2 whole square that is a plus b whole square divided by 4 okay so now this is equals to if we simplify this one lcm is 12 right 4b square plus 4ab plus a square minus 3 times of a plus b whole square I am splitting a square plus b square plus 2ab ok now simplify this this is equals to 4b square plus 4ab plus a square minus 3a square minus 3b square minus 6ab divided by 12 simplify this one observe what you will get so this is equals to here you will get 4 I think sorry 4a square okay 4 you will get now simplify what you will get b square 4ab minus 2ab next plus a square divided by 12 so what is the answer this is looking like as b minus a whole square so b minus a whole square divided by 12 is the answer okay so b minus a whole square divided by 12 is the variance formula in the uniform continuous distribution or continuous uniform distribution or in rectangular probability distribution okay so then another name for this one is rectangular distribution okay so this is the way we can find the variance in uh, uniform distribution okay so what is the mean in the uniform uh, continuous distribution that is b plus a divided by 2 what is the variance variance is b minus a whole square divided by 12 so these are the formulas you have to remember okay right now i am going to explain the problem based on continuous uniform distribution okay so the problem is displaying on the screen please observe that one i am reading that suppose that a large conference room at a certain company can be reserved for no more than four hours both long and short conferences occur quite often in fact it can be assumed that the length x of conference has a uniform distribution on the interval 0 comma 4 the question is what is the probability density function and the b is what is the probability that any given conference lasts at at least three hours okay this is the question so clearly mentioned that there is a, a uniform distribution the, the random variable capital x uh, has a uniform distribution that is mentioned in the question now already we know when the uniform distribution interval is given we can easily find the density function okay so what is the density function is asking the a bit now i am solving the a right the continuous uniform distribution function is f of x such that a comma here a is 0 comma 4 is equals to 1 by 4 0 is less than or equals to x is less than equals to 4 0 elsewhere ok so this is the way we can find is it clear right so generally just by seeing the question we can write the interval 
so this value is depends on the 1 by b minus a here b is 4 and a is 0 okay that's why i written 1 by 4 now what is asking what is the probability that any given conference lasts at least 3 hours that is is asking probability of x at least is asking that is greater than 3 okay so equal to also we can put so what is happened this this is equals to i can write integral the value is defined only up to 4 only so i can write this is 3 to 4 f of x dx what is this one 3 to 4 what is f of x 1 by 4 dx so that is equals to 1 by 4 times of x limits are 3 to 4 so 1 by 4 times of 4 minus 3 that is equals to 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 is the answer for the given question so like this there is a chance to ask the question in the continuous uniform distribution this is the very very simple distribution in the statistics it is a rectangular distribution or continuous uniform distribution i hope it is clear to you you can easily solve these problems okay with this i am closing this video thank you